This video is in response to this one video I just saw like literally 20 minutes ago. It's a video of this one YouTuber named Joshua Feuerstein. I guess he's some kind of Christian evangelist or something who decided to call the uh, Cut the Cake Florida Bakery and asked to order a cake that said, we do not support gay marriage and Cut the Cake Bakery refused. And he talks about how Christians are being discriminated because of this. Now, let me give you a little example of a kind of cake that most companies would refuse to make. What if I decided to walk into a bakery and I say, I want a cake that says, fuck the Christians, or fuck the fucking Christians, I don't care which. Do you really think that a bakery is going to allow me to get a cake baked by them that says that? No, no, they're not. Do you know why? I'll tell you why. Because allowing gays to marry is something positive. However, your little cake stunt, whatever you call it, and my cake example are examples of negative feelings. And in this world, you have to learn how to play nice if you want to get service from other people. You don't just go up to somebody and say, Hey, I want a cake that uh, I want a cake that says uh, I hate all Jews or something like that. Unless it's like some kind of a prank, then maybe you might be able to get by with it. But even then, it has to be somewhat lighthearted. So on behalf of my big brother, Jeremy, who is bisexual, by the way, and on behalf of a lot of my friends who are gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transsexual... And on behalf of the many Christians that I have as friends that you are giving a bad name to, I want to say, fuck you, Josh Feuerstein. Fuck you for giving your Christian religion a bad name. Fuck you for trying to cause grief to this bakery. And fuck you for trying to pull a stunt in order to make yourself get noticed as some kind of anti-gay bigot on YouTube. Lord knows we have enough of that. I have to. I keep talking about this California lawyer down in down there who's talking about the shoot the gays bill and I wish I could say that this is the biggest bullshit thing that I've heard all year from anyone but to be perfectly honest with the rate that these conservative Christians have been going lately this is the this is not even the biggest bullshit this month I mean wow this is like what the fifth or sixth stunt that these Christians have put have pulled this year like, seriously, what is wrong with you guys? Do you guys think that because the Republicans have been taking control of both houses of Congress now, you guys are free to do whatever the hell that you wish? I know that when Bush was president, a lot of you thought that. And quite frankly, I'm getting sick of it. And this needed to be said. I, would, I did not want to wait until casual mode for this one. You conservative Christians who think that being gay is wrong... I don't care about your beliefs. You can believe whatever you want to believe. If you think that being gay is a choice, that's fine. But even if being gay is a choice, it's still a choice, you know? You choose to divorce, and that's also a sin against God. You choose to gamble, and from what I understand, that's also a sin against God. You choose to do so many other things that are sins against God... But you single out this one little homosexual thing just because it's just not part of your little world view. And Josh Feuerstein is planning to be the latest in this recent chain of problematic Christians who are causing people grief, who are causing people so much... Ugh. I'm sorry, I'm just getting sick of talking about this shit. I mean, we did an entire episode about you guys with the Indiana and California and all this crap, and now this? Seriously, you gotta pull a stunt like this and piss everyone the hell off? Fuck you, man. Seriously. And this is just coming from me, but you Christians better watch what you're doing. Alright? Because just because things are starting to swing your way a little bit towards the conservative side, doesn't mean it's going to be that way forever. All right? 
Remember 2008. You guys keep doing this. 2008 is going to be like a picnic compared to what's going to happen to you guys if you guys keep thinking that you can cause gays and lesbians just by everyone else who just doesn't fit your sick, pathetic worldview. Grief and... You know, I, I can't even talk right now. All right? Point is, if you want to bring out a message that supports your faith the best way, bring out a positive message. I was part of a political forum for 11 years and all the negativity and stress and bullshit that came into my life at that time started building up on me and I wound up in the hospital last year. I nearly died last year because of all the stress that came upon me and it just came to a head. Now I came here, I've started this podcast with my big brother Jeremy and we're doing fine now and it's just we try to keep it as lighthearted as possible and yeah, I mean, we do some political stuff every once in a while, but it's pretty much tried to keep to a lighthearted tone until now because I'm getting sick of seeing this shit and something needed to be said. And I did not want to hide it under a two-hour podcast. I was just going to let this out in the open. So yeah, you want to bring a good message to Christianity and start bringing a positive message to Christianity. And I might even bring some examples next time or maybe on the podcast sometime. But honestly, just quit this shit. Seriously. No one wants to hear it. And people are getting tired of it. This is David. I'm out.